Next, weather types or infographics. Essentially, there are seven commonly used types of infographics. Let's start with list. In this type, you simply list all the information of your messages in your infographics. Let's look at this example. This infographics is about fighting the HIV and AIDS epidemics. They simply list their information and bullet points. But I would not recommend to use this, this kind of infographics because uh, it would take me at least uh, several, at least one or two minutes to extract all the information. And it's not really visually appealing. So uh, I don't really like this kind of uh, infographics. Second, comparison. So if you look at this comparison between Hispan Hispanic Latino males and Hispanic Latina females, you can clearly see the comparison here. One in 36 males will be diagnosed with HIV, whereas one in 106 females will be diagnosed with HIV. So they only provide very simple information and compare between males and females. That's a very effective way to commun communicate using infographics. Number three, flowchart. So this infographics provides HIV treatment cascade starting from the global population. So as you can see here, they said there are 37 million people living with HIV. So there, there is a sudden drop and then the next step is 20 million notice status. So immediately you will see the gap between these two steps. So that is their internet effort. And then 50 million and then 9 million and then 6.8 million with antidepressive viral load. So uh, this is a very effective uh, infographics. They achieve their goal of providing this huge gap. And this uh, obviously the difference between the start point and the end point, the audience immediately pick up this obvious points. And there is additional information in the background. So this additional information is about target. So they uh, use very light color and provide this 90-90-90 target. 90% know their status, 90% initiated to EAD, and 90% with anti viral fire So I think this this is a piece of fantastic infographics. Number four, visual articles. So as you can see that uh, there are two young children with very sad looking face. And there is one sentence only. So this is the cover page of World TV Day, March 24. So the information state Tuberculosis kill almost 600 children and are age 15 every day in 2015. So with one picture, with one sentence, you can effectively communicate with your audience, saying the dire situation about tuberculosis among children. I think it is a very emotional way to communicate with your audience. Number five, you can map your information based on the geographical location and at the same time provide additional information regarding the, the data. So let's look at this example. So as you can see that they provide geographical differences in new HIV infection and they also provide whether this uh, number is decreasing or increasing. Okay, so since 2010, around 6% decrease in number of new infections globally. So 
I think this uh, map is a very clear way of communicating your information. Number six, timeline. This is very similar to the flowchart, but this, uh, this corresponds to the time. So if you have uh, your history or if you have your actions uh, and if you want to describe it based on the time, this is a very effective way to do that. The last one is data or visual. This is a very common way of providing the information in medical field. So, so in summary, there are seven commonly used types of infographics and I hope it will be very useful to think ahead which types you will use in your infographics. Coming up, uh, we will talk about four components approach to create a very effective infographics. Okay, see you next time.